April is National Distracted Driving Awareness Month. Some great solutions for you, your family. Keep those eyes on the road and off of your cellular device. A couple statistics for you. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reported, get this, that there were 421 thousand distracted driving related accidents in 2013. That's a large number, but what's more alarming is that number is up 9% from last year, which says the message is not getting through, even right. though we're trying to bring all this attention to texting and driving and it's a no-no, it is still happening over and over again. Well, so. you know, Mark, even though that we know, we know how dangerous texting and driving is, we still continue to do it. And I don't know if you know that 10% of all drivers under the age of 20 are involved in a fatal car crash where reported as, and they were reported as being distracted by the time of the crash mm -hmm. because they were not looking where they were going. They took their eyes off the road just for a few seconds. That's all it takes. That is, and because there are over uh, 171.3 billion texts sent in the United States every month. Every single month. Right. So here's here's a solution we hope because there's so many loopholes that can happen. So we're, I know that they come up with ideas, but I, there's a couple of ideas that we want to share with you. I found a great device. This one's called Cell Control Drive ID uh, with Drive Protect. And that means it will prohibit the driver while texting during that driving period that they're in. Now, this is the f industry's first and only driver identification platform. You can see this is how it works. You put this small sensor under the rear view mirror in your car, and it allows others in the car to text. As you can see, switching phones. As soon as the driver gets that phone within that sort of coverage area, it's put into a safe mode, and you're not allowed to text or drive or play music or whatever. So many people are distracted while texting and driving, but it's not just texting, it's looking up how many times you're there and you bleep, you hear something, it's an email notification, right. or it's how many likes I got on my Facebook, and all these silly little things in the end when there's an accident and a life is lost and yours or somebody else's, and you realized I was just seeing how many likes I had on Facebook. Yeah, and then so, when you get a text, two people, and you hear that bling and you look yeah. at it and you say, well, I'm gonna call when I get back, but let me see who it is. And yeah. the minute you just take your eye off the road to see who it is, it's a great point. Within a five but, seconds, yeah. five second time period of going 55 miles an hour, you look down for that period just to check out what it is. It's like driving a football field length with your eyes closed. That's crazy. That is really crazy, crazy when you when you think about it in those terms. All right. So as you know, it's impossible to control the cars around you. Mm -hmm. You know, because you you can't. You can only be responsible for yourself. But you found a way that we can help ourselves to be more alert while we're driving. So what yeah, is that? Yeah. Exactly. So. Here's a, here's a good thing. I have a video I want to show you that, that this is called How the Collision Avoidance Radar Works. In addition to radar technology, the system includes a camera and advanced data processor. The system's brain collects data, makes an analysis, and warns of any dangerous situation. The front-mounted radar is installed behind the grill for security, encased in a protective casing. The camera sits in front of the rearview mirror out of the driver's field of vision. The radar reads the road and finds objects in motion within range of the vehicle. The camera also recognizes road markings and direction of travel. When the system recognizes danger, such as an unsafe closing distance, a potential impending collision or an unintentional lane departure, data is analyzed in a split second and triggers a visual and audio warning. The display has a user-friendly interface providing visual signals for clear or dangerous conditions as well as a data entry location. The monitor is convenient and visible, does not block the driver's vision, nor harm the vehicle's dashboard. Really interesting, interesting device there. And then uh, one last quick one. So if, these are two really great products right. that are out there that you can, there's they're sort of uh, equipment that you can have installed to help you. If not, I've got one other one that Is I want to share with you. Is that the app you wanted to talk about? I want to talk about this right. app. It's a, it's a, it's called Text Blocker App. It's TXT Blocker App, and it allows you to download software onto your smartphone. It blocks text, texting abilities on a mobile phone while you drive. And there's no, uh, there's a sort of a setup no sewn uh, cell phone areas so a lot of teachers are complaining that kids are texting while in school or they're using their phone well you can do this now uh, i guess one of the drawbacks is this has to be sort of self-regulated you have to get in your car and activate the uh, the app 
But if you can get that pattern set up and kids have their phones turned into this uh, and have this app activated, they won't be calling uh, the others in right. school and, and whatnot. Um, even though April, as we said, is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, uh, it's important to be safe every single day, 365, 24-7. And our friends at Safe Drive Systems want to offer you 20% off to our home and family viewers. You can give them a call. The number is at the bottom of your screen. It's 800 737 Nine, eight, and then just give them the code Hallmark when you call. And Cell Control wants to offer our home and family viewers 20% off. Just uh, go to CellControl.com and use the promo code HM000. That's HM000. Good stuff. Yeah. Spend time thinking about it and talk to your kids yes. this month. It's so, so important when they get to that driving age.